And my name is Jim Nolan. Uh, had many of you as either undergraduates. I've been here at the university for 30 years and uh, taught undergraduate for the first 15 years. So I see a lot of the BBAs that I had in the 80s and 90s. Uh, I started teaching only MBA uh, classes about the mid 90s. So we have a lot of the daytime MBA programs as well. I've also taught in the Dallas Executive MBA program, so I've been able to visit with them last night at the uh, reception, so it was good to see them. And I know we've got people from the Houston, the evening, uh, so we've got the whole part. You're, you're 140 of our 80,000 alumni that we have around the world, so. Uh, and we've got people not only from Austin local, but have traveled quite a distance. So I'll give you some of the summary of the people that are here uh, in just a minute. But first of all, I'd like to start off by recognizing some of the people that put this together. And uh, Sarah Dooley, who is sitting up front, is the... Uh, Sarah is our Director of uh, Alumni Relations and, uh, and Giving and uh, alumni giving and she has her staff that has put this conference together and we have Robin Vallely that you met when you checked in that gave you your badge. Uh, we have Kate Smallwood that's in the back back there I believe. Um, we have Christine Berdahl who's here and we have Francisca as well. So for all the staff at Alumni uh, Relations we appreciate your work. Uh, there's a lot of great things going on at McCombs right now, I will tell you. Not only this conference, but a lot of the things that our communication department provides on our web through blogs and, and Twitter and all these other technology, uh, social networking sites that we have. But just to tell you a few things that are available to you as alumni, uh, Gary Hoover, who started the Book Stop and Travel Fest and Hoovers.com, is currently the entrepreneur in residence at Macomb. And Gary is maybe the greatest historian of business that I've ever met. He's a walking encyclopedia about business, history of business. He's been doing a series once a month on different industries. So he's already done the movie industry, he's done the auto industry, and he's done the airline industry. But this Wednesday over at the AT&T Center, for those of you that are local and available, he is doing a uh, seminar on the retail industry and that's really his passion and love. So if you have a chance to see Gary talk about what the history of retailing and merchandising is, that would be a great uh, opportunity for you because he's a great uh, historian. Uh, we have these Knowledge to Go seminars that the Alumni Association has been putting on. I actually was the guinea pig and did the first one on private equity and venture capital industry. Uh, we've also, Sandy Leeds that you will see this afternoon has done some on um, investing. We're gonna have some on the medical industry. So uh, look for those in your email as you get them, these Knowledge to Go webinars. Um, you're gonna uh, see that we've got several faculty members that are blogging on a regular basis. Sandy Leeds that you'll meet after lunch does a blog called Leads on Finance and he puts out daily blogs on what happened in the capital markets, what's happened in the stock market and other uh, capital markets. So it's a, it's a great resource. Michael Brandle does a series on uh, economics and any of you that had Michael Brandle know he's quite entertaining. He's evangelistic uh, microeconomist. So, uh, and then we have this nice new series that our communications department is doing called Lingo. And they're like one minute uh, little segments on different words like moral hazard or systematic risk or uh, things like that. So great little seminars that are well done and well produced. So you ought to check out the website and see what's available to you under our, uh, the alumni services. Um, Many of you got a chance to uh, see the AT&T Conference Center maybe for the first time last evening. Uh, great facility, great resource that we have. And that's where we house our executive education department. So any of you interested, we have great uh, continuing education programs that are conducted over at the AT&T Center. 
Uh, you're going to hear a lot today from the dean about new initiatives. We have a new center for energy research. Uh, so a lot of great things happening at the Macomb School of Business right now. Um, so today, uh, I will be your MC. I am going to introduce, we've got a great host of speakers. Uh, you can see the agenda here. Um, we have our keynote, uh, Marcy uh, Zotlik is going to be talk to you about uh, the, our, her company, StarTex Power. And then we're going to have Ben Benson, who is a lecturer in our marketing department, talk a little bit about marketing and Texas athletics. Uh, we'll take a break. Sandy's going to come back and talk about uh, finance. You can't handle the truth. And if you had Sandy, you know he's uh, quite witty and uh, sarcastic. Last year, he was presented at the conference, and when everybody left, I think they were in the most depressed mood they'd ever been in. Uh, Sandy has called 10 of the last five recessions, so uh, uh, <laughs> uh, we will then have, Sarah will introduce herself and more about the Alumni Association and introduce our new dean, Tom Gilligan. If you hadn't had a chance to meet Dean Gilligan, uh, he's quite a resource for us. He came from USC as the interim dean of the Marshall School, uh, very progressive, really wants to get points of distinction at McCombs to make us a world-class organization. Uh, after lunch, we'll come back. John Doggett, so those of you that had the pleasure of having John, he probably doesn't need much of an introduction. He is an interesting guy. Uh, we'll talk to you about, and John's really involved in the global arena of uh, business. And so he leads our uh, global plus uh, trips overseas, and he's been leading Ch China for a long time. He just got back over spring break from leading the trip to India. Uh, so he'll give you an update on what's happening in other parts of the world. Uh, then we're going to have uh, Ray Arbach, who is the uh, director of the Energy Institute. He has dual appointments in the geosciences department, the physics department, the engineering department. Uh, I think he's like in four or five different colleges. He's a former undersecretary, uh, Department of Energy for Sciences. Uh, so quite an interesting uh, guy that will present energy issues and uh, UT's groundbreaking research in energy. And then finally, we'll wind up with Rob Adams, who is going to talk to you about a new initiative we just started called Texas Venture Labs. And it is uh, attempting to accelerate uh, commercialization of ideas from students and faculty and trying to get it into the marketplace. So we've got a great lineup of speakers for you. So uh, without any more uh, hearing from me, let's get to our feature speakers.